Guys, oh, hello. Hey. We're in, guys. Hey, we're we're on TV. here. Hey. We're on TV. Oh, hey, we're good. Hey, oh, oh. Let's get back to simple plan. And... <laughs> Let's do that. That's a good idea. Yeah. I think that we take our band seriously and that, as that we we see it as a career and we see it as like, you know, longevity. I do anything. No rest with the wicked, huh? Right. That's how we do. We've been up since uh, 4 30 a.m. this morning. We have to be here at 6 30. So we had to leave at 5 30 from the hotel and uh it is early. Yeah. It is very early. And we flew in last night, plane was late. Ah, oh, it's tough. Problem we'll come to our lives. Welcome to my life. We're late because of me, because uh, I buy so man. I buy so cash. Uh, I was in my bed sleeping because my alarm did not go off. So I had to skip the shower, and uh, I always skip the shower anyway. Get to the point. At what point? You guys got up at 7? I woke up at was 7. Why are you here so early? You know, the band's lazy. They party. I don't party. I'm boring. It's free breakfast. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Yeah, there's so many bands out there, you know, what, what sets you apart, what makes you different, what creates your identity, I think, you know, for us it was like the, all the hard work and the dedication that we had. We don't take days off. Actually, you know, it's sort of like a porn star career, if you, a, a lot of hard work and dedication will get you somewhere. <laughs> it's not just a party. How's the party going? The party is raging. How are you? I'm, I'm drinking cranberry juice only right now. This is apple cider. Well, I party too hard and now my throat is up. Check it out. That's disgusting. Last night was fun. We had a good time. Last night, Pierre was telling me I love you many times. No, I love you. Oh, you're telling me this hey, I really, really love you. Okay. Heartbreaker. What else do you do for fun? Jokes. Why do women have boobs? <laughs> so that... Go ahead. Because you got something to look at when they're talking to you. <laughs> not not seven year old. Who's there? Ash? Ash who? Bless you. Oh. Oh my god, that's funny. Look at his, you should try stand-up. He's a writer for it's not it. Not. <laughs> David, he's quick. That's that quick. Emo dude, I like him. <laughs> the problem is with Simple Plans, they're really funny, but everything we say that's funny can be used on TV. It's always about sex or seven-year-old kids. <laughs> <laughs> or both. You can say penis. Can you say penis? We, we actually can say anything. What about vagina? Yeah. About okay. sticking up my <laughs> cornhole. <laughs> We know when it's time to party and we know when it's time to work. And now I try hard to make it. Are you guys an ambitious band? I think we're really ambitious. We want as many people as possible to hear this band. We want this band to get as big as possible. We never said the opposite. We want to keep doing it for a long time, so we got to work hard. And you got to, I think if you don't, if you take it lightly and you don't care, it's not going to work. We're ambitious people. We just want to see how far we can take this band. What role does the business side of things play in Simple Plan? I think being involved in business and for our band is super important because you don't want to be misrepresented mis like by other people. I think nobody else can do it better than the band themselves. If you don't treat it as a business, someone else will for you and someone else will misrepresent you. So and it's like, and you'll you wake might up as well... And, and you'll hate your video, or yeah. you'll wake up and you'll hate your album cover, or you'll wake up and you'll be like, why you'll would hate you hate your image? <laughs> You guys are ugly. Go in makeup. Ooh. I know they put so much. It's not. It's for TV. It looks better. Does it? I don't know. Look at you. That's what happens when you're kind of ugly and you have to fix you up. It's my secret. Yeah, yeah. You can't film this. I look better in five minutes. Don't go. Me and Seb are going scruffy today. Going scruffy? We all decided we were lazy with hair now. Look at us. Oh yeah. Yeah. Jeff decided a long time ago. No, hair decided to be lazy on me. Well, I gotta do my hair. It's a pretty complicated process. I gotta wet them. I gotta let them dry in their natural state. Could this be your new look? Could <laughs> this be the, the new plan. look for that Simple Plan? We based our career on these guys. This is what we tried to achieve. We're just about to demonstrate here uh, yes, the yes, use yes. of our new machine that we just bought. It's called the Automatic Hair Spiker. Since we have always had slight hair when we play shows, it's a little bit quicker to do your hair. So here's a demonstration. also have a style going on. Really? I thought yeah, we didn't have any style. No, no, no. You, you definitely have something going on. Is that oh, thank you. Chuck, what is that right there you're wearing? It's a T role model t-shirt. Which is some sort of like corporation, right? Totally. <laughs> yeah, it's our company. Hey, now I want to know, are you really role models? Hi, we sure are. We're wearing 
shorts and t-shirts. It's not very yeah, complicated. It's, it's very that, cheap. Anybody can afford it. What do you think it's like working with stylists when you do your shoes? We don't work with them. We don't work with them. We don't use stylists. So, so we just spent an hour with a stylist and, you know, they completely changed us. And, you know, it was really hard, but this is what we ended up wearing. That's cool. <laughs> They're very self-sufficient. They basically wear their own stuff, but we got them a bundle of stuff sent and did some shopping, and they just pick out what they like. Never pass on a freebie. I would have on that one. <laughs> oh, we're about to shoot a media ad. Okay, step up the land. Stand by. We're about to roll. Okay, stand by. Okay, step up the land. Stand by. We're about two minutes away from rolling. Two minutes? Here we go. <laughs> I don't want to think about you, about me. Don't want to figure this out. When a band shows up and they're nice to people, you say, <laughs> Camera out of my face. Get that <laughs> shit away. When they don't like act like they're like raw gods. It's too hot. I'm leaving. I'm gone. It always goes better. Not you again. Why would you become a jackass? Because most There's people, no reason to. Most people do. You only penalize yourself if you don't. You know, like bring the right attitude, you know? If you just act like a jackass, it's gonna look like crap. I just wanna say that we're looking good. Because it's our backs, you don't see our faces, that's what it looks like. <laughs> we're trying to put all the technology that we have into making Pierre look good. Yeah. It's really hard, you know? It takes a lot of work. A lot of work. But we're going there. See, there's big computers down there. We're editing his face, everything in. It's gonna be great. We tend to be very ambitious with our videos. Everybody always gave you what you wanted. You never had to work, it was always there. I wrote that. Every video we ever made, we kind of come up with the ideas. You know what? Like, good artists come up with ideas, and geniuses, they steal. So, I steal a lot. I don't, I don't think I would trust us to direct the video. I always shoot when we're walking, like, whatever. Like, there's some stuff we can cut and, like, make it go fast. You mean, like, right now? Yeah. Like, right now, I'm cutting with the video. Like, right now, like, film that. I already did. Let's go. And it's like the talking hot girl, hot blonde girl, um, in a jag who has everything she wants, but yet she's not happy. I don't know what she's complaining about, but she's not. Well, you wrote the treatment. Yeah, her life is empty. She feels that, um, that, um, she's about to, on the edge of breaking down. And, uh, she feels like she's been kicked when she's down. What the hell are you guys doing? Nothing. We just, we, you know, it's basically, this is Chuck's band. He does everything. He, you know, writes all the songs. So if you don't like the words, it's my fault. He dresses us. He, did he pick yeah. that? He picked that. Yeah, he picked everything. He, he's he, a mastermind. He, 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 we did all, like, the surrounding shots before. Like, we did all the, the sit situational. Is that the word? Yeah. Situational? Okay. See, I'm French, but I, I use the big words. It's not like a... A ch chore, chore, chore. How do you say that? Chore for it's us. A chore. It's like, sorry, we're French. Uh, it's not like um, it's not difficult. It's not like a job. One of my favorite part of of being in the band is like the kind of the film aspect of it because I love movies. You did a tune on the soundtrack to Scooby Doo. Yes. Scooby Doo's our dog. Yeah, he's our dog. Yeah. He's great. I like actually. that one. Put it right here. It was his. Whoa! Put it right here. Where were you when oh. I said it? Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thanks. I don't want to think about you. You guys brought the movie to your video. We actually were hoping to be in the movie, but yeah, it didn't work out. Yeah, so we're, we're very bad actors. This is my first scene. I'm going to be doing a uh, watching scene. <laughs> Takes a lot of acting lessons for that one. It's like this. How important are movie soundtracks to a band? I think oh. it's just an ego rub. Soundtracks are important for your ego. It's good to go to the movie and be able to watch a movie and have. That doesn't really do. Bring a girl and say, hey, 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 that's that's my song right there. We really? keep drilling our song in people's heads. So wherever they go, to the market, to the movie theater, they hear them, you know? That's how we do. Do I look like this? Where are we going? Uh, idiot. Idiot. <laughs>